Cold welding of commercial PVC floor coverings using the masking tape method number one. This film will demonstrate the steps for using the Werner Müller PVC cold welding system, professional and proper execution. Instructions with safety and risk information accompany our products. The method shown should be tested for suitable application. Products of the Werner Müller company for a successful PVC cold welding. To achieve a nearly invisible seam using Werner Müller PVC cold welding system, a closely cut seam is required. This can be done by using the double cut technique. The floor covering should be overlapped. The PVC floor layers should overlap between 3 and 5 cm. The overlapping layers will be cut in one step alongside a metal bar. A sharp round blade and an infinite adjusting device have been specially developed for the Provenol knife to achieve an exact depth of the cut. The overlapping floor layers will be cut in one step by leading the knife alongside a metal bar. At first the production edge of the upper floor layer will be cut even with a strip cutter. The even cut floor layer will now be placed underneath the other layer. Using the Lino cut, the width of the gap is infinitely adjustable. Because it has two blades, it is possible to cut from wall to wall. The knife cuts the upper floor layer and uses the evenly cut edge of the lower floor layer as guidance. For the following cold welding, the width of gap must be adjusted so that the closely cut seam is achieved. Using the tip-top seam cutter, a ball-bearing cutting knife is guided along a parallel running metal bar to achieve an exact vertical cut. The depth of the cut is infinitely adjustable. After the seam cut, the remainders have to be removed. In case the PVC floor covering is not plastered holohedral on the floor, please make sure that the instructions of the producer of the floor covering will be followed properly. The seam area has to be fixed to the floor by using an adequate double-sided adhesive tape.
Bring both edges tightly together. Press the PVC floor covering firmly to the double-sided adhesive tape to avoid height differences of the two layers. The seam area must be clean and dry for the professional coal welding. A special masking tape, which is resistant to the cold welding liquid, has to be fixed evenly, centered over the closely cut seam. It is absolutely vital to avoid damage to the outer floor finish coating, for instance, made of polyurethane. Apply the masking tape tightly by using a seam roller. This is to prevent the cold welding liquid from penetrating underneath the tape. Easily cut the masking tape with the rolling knife in the seam area. A straight blade or a hook blade can be used as an alternative to the rolling knife. It is important that the edges of the floor layers are not damaged while cutting the tape. This can be done effectively by pressing the knife's edge deeply into the seam. This allows for an easy to follow blade flow. After the seam cut, press on the masking tape tightly again by using a seam roller. This is to prevent the cold welding liquid from penetrating underneath the tape. For close cut seams, which usually come with newly installed PVC flooring, the cold welding liquid type A with the firmly mounted needle from Werner Müller Company should be used. Shake the tube well before use. Clean the nozzle and needle before use with a clean cloth. Seam areas of hard and little flexible commercial floor coverings should be warmed up to about 40 degrees Celsius using an iron or blow dryer directly before the welding. To apply the cold welding liquid, press the needle firmly into the seam and guide the flow of the liquid along the edge with the free hand. The amount of cold welding liquid used is ideal if a line of approximately 5 mm appears on the masking tape. Make sure that none of the cold welding liquid drips or flows onto the uncovered area of the floor. Alternatively, the seam area can also be warmed up to about 40 degrees Celsius using a blow dryer. Make sure that through the airflow, none of the cold welding liquid runs off the masking tape onto the floor covering surface. After 10 minutes, the cold welding liquid on the masking tape should be dry. So the masking tape can be removed, leaving behind a strong and nearly invisible seam. The quality of the WM PVC cold welding technique has been proven by extensive testing. For this we have quality certificates from the Independent Testing Institute, IFPRÜF Institut für Bau- und Fußbodentechnik Koblenz, Germany. Details concerning the results are available by request. When used properly, our products are harmless to your health. This statement is certified by the Building Staff Association, an independent and approved professional institute. 
The results are published in the Handbook for Building Chemicals in Germany.